Hey, it's Doc Williams, and in this video, we're going to determine the percent compositions of elements in compounds. The general equation for mass percent is equal to the mass of the element divided by the total mass of the compound times 100. In this first problem, we're asked to find the percent composition of each element in copper 2 bromide. And based on our formula, we need to have two things, which is the mass of the element we're finding and the mass of the total compound. So let's first find the total mass of the compound of copper 2 bromide. This compound consists of one copper. And using the periodic table to find the mass, we have 63.546 grams, which means that we only have 63.546 grams of copper in each copper 2 bromide. Now for bromine, we have two atoms, and based on the periodic table, each atom is 79.904 grams, which means we have 159.808 grams of bromine in each mole of copper 2 bromide. Adding these up will give us the total mass of copper 2 bromide, which is 223.354 grams per every mole. Now that we have the mass of each element in the compound and the total mass of the compound, we're going to take this information, plug it into the formula to calculate a percent mass of copper and the percent mass of bromine in this compound. Let's start with copper. So the percent mass of copper is going to be equal to the mass of copper, which is 63.546 grams, divided by the total mass of the compound, which is 223.354 grams times 100, which provides a percent of copper of 28.45%. We're going to do the same thing for bromine. So the percent of bromine is going to be equal to the mass of bromine in the compound and since there's two bromine atoms in every copper 2 bromide, then the total mass of bromine in this compound is 159.808 grams. And we're going to divide that by the total mass of 223 times 354 and multiply that by 100, which is 71.55% of bromine. To sum this up, copper has a percent mass of 28.45 and bromine has a percent mass of 71.55. And to check this, since each one is a percent of the whole, if you add all of these up, we'll see that this does equal 100%. Let us know that we did this correctly. As always, thank you for watching.